Today I'm here in Hello Kitty Cafe to show you guys how you can open up more floors in your cafe. Things have changed a little bit with the extra updates, mainly the blueprint update kind of changed how you can buy your floors and makes it a little easier actually. Even the amount of popularity has changed when you have to buy floors too, so this video should be very helpful and up to date so you can learn how to open up your floors fast. There's two things you need to unlock floors and that is popularity and coins obviously, but popularity can be a little confusing. If you just joined and don't know how to get popularity, you can first check your popularity by going to the outside of your cafe. So if I were to walk outside and go to the right of my cafe over here, there is a sign that has my popularity points right here. There's a few ways of getting popularity, but there's mainly one way that I recommend getting popularity if you're trying to open up your floors, and that is by doing the blueprints. So if you only have one floor, let's say you only have your very, very first floor you just started out, the very first thing you would do to unlock your next floor is to do the blueprints. So if you go over here to this icon and go over here to Hello Kitty right here, this is the blueprints that I recommend. So you want to first of all scroll all the way down, ignore all this stuff. You want to scroll down to this one right here. If you click on it, I'll say Hello Kitty 001. That's the one that you want to do for your first floor. So you would click on that one, click your first floor and create blueprints and then it would delete everything on your floor and you would start off by doing that. To do the blueprint, you need coins. So I recommend saving up your coins first and have a little bit of coins. It isn't expensive since it is the first floor, but that is what you wanna do. You wanna go around and you wanna build your floor and get up all the way finished because once it's complete, you can go over to the button area over here the green button, and then you would be able to buy your next floor. That is how I would recommend getting popularity for your next floor is by doing the blueprint correlated to that floor. So if you need the third floor, you wouldn't want to do the 001 blueprint. You would want to do the 003 blueprint for your third floor. So this blueprint right here, you would want to put on your third floor, do your third floor, complete it, and then you would have enough popularity to go ahead and buy the next floor. If you do the blueprints, it also gives you coin, not quite enough to buy your next floor, but it still does give you coins. So that is why I really recommend doing the blueprints so whatever floor you need if you need the fifth floor i would do the 004 blueprint on your fourth floor if you get to your fifth floor you do get coins for doing this blueprint but i mean you don't have to do it at that point once you have your fifth floor open you can probably just decorate your cafe the way you want to but there is one other floor that is coming soon, the rooftop. It isn't here yet, but if the rooftop is open, then you would want to do your fifth floor blueprint. So that is what I'd recommend. I recommend doing the blueprints. They kind of changed the way to play Hello Kitty Cafe. I'm gonna have to do a video about how to play Hello Kitty Cafe because now there's a completely different way to play Hello Kitty Cafe with the blueprints. They are very, very helpful if you're trying to open up your new floors because the other way of getting popularity and the old way of getting popularity is by buying it from the popularity shop. If I teleport to the city here and go to the decor shop, I can show you what that means. To the right of the shop over here is where all the old popularity furniture used to be at. And if you were trying to get your second floor, this is the first floor popularity stuff. As you can see, it still does give you popularity though. And that is how you would get popularity from doing the blueprints because the blueprints have these popularity decor on the floor. That's how you get that. But if you really, really wanted to, you could come here and buy a bunch of furniture. Once you buy it, it goes directly to your cafe before you actually had to put it down. Now you just have to buy it. So you could buy a bunch of like Kiki and Lala cakes and get enough popularity to get the next floor. But I honestly do not recommend doing that because that costs a lot of coins to do that. And you wouldn't get the coins back from doing the blueprints. So definitely do the Hello Kitty blueprints if you're trying to open up 
the floors. The other blueprints, they I think they have popularity items on them, but they're not going to be enough to get your next floor, so stick to the Hello Kitty blueprints. But that's another way of getting popularity, you could buy these things. Um, I would recommend buying them maybe after you're done with your cafe, maybe you just want to decorate your cafe with these cute items, I would recommend that rather than buying them to get to your next floor. But there is another way of getting popularity, let me head back to my cafe and I'll show you that. The very, very last way to get popularity is over here by your sign actually. If you click on the hearts over here and open up this menu, it'll show you that you can get popularity from the hearts. You get 10 popularity from each heart. You can get some by getting hearts from other people. You can ask people in the chat to give you a heart if you just have your cafe open here. If you have it to allow anyone to visit, then anyone can visit your cafe and you'll probably get a few hearts by just having your cafe open. Sometimes there's even limited time events where you have to go heart someone's cafe. So more than likely you'll probably get someone coming over to your cafe to give it a heart so they can do that. You do get extra popularity points for doing that and you also get some from doing parties too. So if you send out party invitations here to people and they come to your cafe, you do get a little bit of popularity from that as well. But I'm pretty sure that's all the ways you can get popularity. But the main way that I recommend it is by doing the Hello Kitty blueprints and just the Hello Kitty blueprints, especially if you're trying to open up another floor. The only other thing you need is coins, and the best way to get coins is by running your cafe. So let me open up my cafe here and I'll explain that a little bit more. First of all, you'll just get coins when your cafe is open because your staff will be working and doing orders and things. So the more customers you got in your cafe, the more coins you'll get. Make sure you have tables down and extra tables down so you can get more people in your cafe to sit down. Popularity also brings more people to your cafe too. So the more floors you open up, the more popularity you will get and the more customers you'll get. So that is why you would also want to open up your floors too so you can get some more customers and make lots more money. At first it's going to take you a while, but that's the best way of doing it. You can get coins from doing like the daily playtime rewards things and you just have to play the game to get those. You can get coins by just interacting with your customers. Like if I invite this person in, I get so many coins for doing that. I get a lot because I am a higher level. I think it goes by level. The higher level you are, the more coins you're going to get from doing those interactions. So mainly what you really want to do is just like take orders, invite people in, go serve people up. Any interaction you do will give you some coins. So I would recommend interacting with your customers and things to get some extra coins. But even if you're just sitting here and going AFK, or even if you use the auto work pass here, it will give you coins for the auto work pass too. So if you use auto work, you have 10 minutes to use it, then it will give you some coins too. So that is how you get coins for your new floors. I mainly just recommend like working. You could also just be AFK or use your auto work pass to get a bunch of coins. But customers are the th way you get coins. So the more customers you have in your cafe, the better. So put down some extra tables. Make sure you have enough tables down to get a bunch of people in your cafe. And you know that you won't have enough tables down if you can't invite them in your cafe. So if you have customers lining up here and it says that you can't invite them in because you don't have enough tables, then go ahead and put down some more tables. And if you have like a clear line and you can invite everyone in, then your tables are probably pretty good. So that is how you would do all of that. And you get coins for also interacting with your customers too. So there's that as well. So mainly you want popularity and you want coins and that is how you would get your popularity and coins to open up your next floors. It's super fun to try and get your floors open so you can decorate them. I know the blueprints, sometimes people don't like them because you're not able to decorate your cafe, but if you have all your floors open and you did all the blueprints to open up all your floors, then you could delete them and do your own thing. Or if you unlock the third floor, you can decorate your first and your second floors. So just do the blueprint on the floor that you need to complete to get the next floor. 
I hope this video was helpful though. Hopefully this helps you figure out how you can get more floors in your cafe. And again, it's just all about blueprints. So blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. Do all the blueprints to get your next floor. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!